pay attention to this. I'm having some problems with a helper of mine. You know how they are. Stupid, lazy, uncooperative. Exactly. You. Out. Oh, but my hat and my suitcase. Don't worry about it. I'll get them. I don't want anything else broken. Well, I didn't break it on purpose. I just backed Short up. Your face is dirty, little mouse. Come now. Bro Bear is nothing for you to cry about. Oh, but he said Shh. that I... Where it went? It's behind your ear. Oh, no, no, little mouse, not that ear. This one. Oh, it's a trick. How did you know? Oh, well, I just guessed. What's your name? Marco. Marco the Magnificent. Oh, Marco the Magnificent. Well, that suits you. Well, here you go. At. First. Okay. Now up. Calm now, girl bear. Is that any way to say goodbye to a young lady? with 
more to this, there's more to me, something in me that needs to do more than suck the breath from life like moss and leaves and weeds do. Holding up my head, holding down a place, being worth a name to go with my face. I've got to find a reason for living on this earth. Something to want, something to be, somehow to say, I am me. Mirror. 
cheese, a glass of wine, some cold chicken. Chicken? Oh, yes, definitely chicken. A nice, tender, plump, young bird. Senorita! Oh, it's Spanish! He just spoke Spanish! Senorita, my humble hacienda lies but a few pesos down the road. Will you dine there with the man men call Don Marco de Jimenez? Coffee, it might make. 
junior subordinate under the same generous term. Uh, 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 and finally, you're hired as a complete junior assistant with your salary to be mutually agreed upon by myself. Should that occasion ever arise. But we have the job, right? Of course you have the job. When I've modeled the magnificent request, anything in this carnival, it is Mr. Schlegel's greatest pleasure to see that it is done. I live only for these moments. <laughs> now report to the girls' trailer and pick up your costume. We'll work out the charges later. The truth is, Mouse, I had to get you the job. The life of an artist is a lonely one. When he finds someone who understands, how can he let her go? Oh, Mr. Marco, how can I ever thank you? Never fear, little mouse. We shall find a way. Well, there must be something I can do when I can work and clean. That will not be necessary. Your presence, Sherry, is thanks enough. Until later, little mouse. I got the job! Thank you. 
a kid. What could she have to do with Marco? Open your eyes, Jaco. Can't you see what she is? A cheap little tramp chasing after that aging stallion just like all the rest oh, of them. Oh, she isn't, Paul. She couldn't be. I don't want to talk about it, Jaco. It's late. Let's go. Where are your things? Oh, well, I, I haven't packed them yet. Don't be angry with me, Paul, but I'm not going with you. What are you talking about, Jaco? Of course you're coming with me. I've been with the carnival all my life. Paul, I can't leave now. But you would understand if only you'd seen it as it was. We really played Paris with, with three tents and, and more clowns than you could count. And, and a beautiful girl who danced for a hundred feet above a sea of flames. That's it over, Jaco. It won't come back. Oh, but it could come back. Paul, I know it could. All we need is one act that people liked. And then Paris would hear it. <clears throat> well, just this morning, I found the puppet you made last spring. Remember, Paul? Henry and Marguerite and Renardo, they're different. People like them as much as they do Carrot Top. And then, then maybe Schlegel will move us to the main tent. Stop it, Jocko. See this place for what it is. Bottom of the barrel, a hiding place for all the misfits of the world. Leave it, Jocko. Come with me someplace else, someplace new. Paul, do you really think it'll be different for you someplace else? Then in some new town, you'll be Paul Bertolet, the dancer again. Because you won't, Paul. No matter where you go, not ever again. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
It's me, Carrot Top. I, I want to speak to you, Lily. So please come down from that old ladder. It, it doesn't go anywhere anyhow. Come on down, Lily. Come on. That's it. Down you go. Slowly now, but, but not too slowly. That wouldn't do at all. One foot, then the other. Hold on tight. And don't look down, whatever you do. Just keep going, Lily. Keep going. One foot. Marguerite. Forgive me for being suspicious, my dear, but it's such a 
I can't tell you what it does for me. <laughs> Willie, did you touch his tusks? Oh, yes. The first time you met him? Oh, yes. yes but... Well, I didn't know you were that kind of girl. <laughs> How was it? Awful, huh? Ooh. No, no. Somebody in this world cares what happens to you. I care, Lily. 